Just your reaction, the, I know you touched on it a little bit, Jake Paul and Hussey Rahman Jr. There's a rehydration clause, they're making him come down. Um, they're making who come down? Rahman, Rahman. Rahman. And he just got knocked out in his last fight. Like, what did that, that tell you? Tell me I mean, that's, that, that, that doesn't, I mean, that doesn't say that um, the blueprint is set for uh, Rahman Jr., right? To, 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 to be successful. And let me tell you something, like, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, to me, this is like a, and again, I, I ain't, I'm not trying to kill nobody's uh, hustle, but I look at it as, I look at it as that, that, that's a hustle. Either you're in or you're out. And I like Jay Paul. I, I'm, I'm a really, I can say proudly that I, I'm a fan of his, his entertainment skills as soon as he came on the scene and what he have done based on entertainment, based on um, being in a situation of uh, COVID. Most people are in the house, most people look for something to do. They're bored as hell. And they want to see two people at certain times bang each other up and beat each other up and do what they got to do. But when you look at that particular entertainment and now you in, you're crossing over to, to boxing and want to make it to yourself called Be Real, to clear up any credibility does anybody think that whether you can or cannot be successful. Uh, the jury, to me, is still out on that. Um, and fighting Rockman Jr., win, lose, or draw, doesn't, for me, give you a clear path to say you have, you have arrived and um, that talent has is, is, is always been there. I, I'll say that it has to be somebody that we all recognize that's not going to go in there and play because he don't know how to. And he's going to go in there and he's going to seek and destroy you even though it might seem that he's playing with you. If you're going to make a big splash, because he does, he does have some type of uh, skills and experience in entertainment boxing. That's what I call it. Now, I didn't pad that. Somebody's going to run with it. I call it entertainment boxing. Then fight a catch weight at a reasonable catch weight for James Tony. I bet you James Tony will take that fight. I feel like I'm his promoter right now, but I'm not. But I'm not. Uh, what about Tommy you, you, uh, James Tony, I'd like to see him fight James Tony. James Tony, wow. A lot of people would be like, wait, what? Like James Tony's a Why not? Player. So what? Uh, well, James Tony can fight, though. Yeah. And James Tony is still one of the greatest uh, uh, to up to date counter punchers. Other than other than uh, uh, the, the the great undefeated Floyd Mayweather, you got to look at the, the counter punching old or not old. James Tony still can give a lot of guys fit, especially if they're not embedded in the sport from day one like James Tony. I think it all way even out to 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 basically not at even Stevens. I give James Tony a little slight edge just on experience. If they the only do. thing he got to do is leave a cupcake or two alone. <laughs> and I and I said, listen, we have fun out there in the Hall of Fame. Uh, if he see this interview, I bet you he probably back me up on on uh, on anyone out there that's a YouTuber or converted to now by voice that they now they now they want to get into the real thing. Okay, the first test out of the gate. It's not a hot scene, rock my junior. No disrespect to my brother, but come on, make a big splash. I mean, you already got the momentum from the YouTuber. The numbers will tell you that. So go right to the dance. Be like, yo, give me James Tony. We do a 10 round. Sold out. It'd be over. It'd be sold out. I think that they're saying that, like, look, look at any other prospect coming up at like five and oh, they're not taking on these types of fights, like, like how Jake is. That's why I said, give him a guy like that. Yeah. Not no hot scene rock mound who's got to come down. They got to dehydrate claws and they got to go ahead. It's too much. It's too much stuff. There's too much stuff, there's too much intangibles and wrapped up in that. You're gonna do it, you're gonna do it. I'm not gonna have a man. Let him hydrate. Let him do it. Like I, I, I think if you really serious and you believe that you are the better man, you ain't gotta do none of that. Let's agree on the catch weight, let's agree on the weight period. If you're willing, I'm willing. And they both say, okay, this is good, but no more. Okay, we're gonna do it. Yeah, I talked to Sean about it yesterday. He told me, one, uh, he's handicapped in that matchup. And then also, two, so it's like the right, like it's perfect matchmaking that he's done so far with his fights, Jake. 
with that is it rock perfect rock. if it's perfect matchmaking or is it's is, is, is perfect manipulation you know what I mean so I mean it's, you can you can manipulate the situation to the point where you can say it's perfect this perfect that but anybody else that understands um the nonsense in that um it, it's totally doing the opposite because if the other side has some kind of respect for themselves they'd be like hold up we got to meet somewhere like in the middle where things can happen like you want me to do this then you want me to do this you want me to do that no, nah, let's just do it the way it's traditional, it's done, but we can tweak that, maybe tweak this, but after that, let's just do it. Because at the end of the day, it's really about the weight and about you making a statement that you're ready for the big dance and what way to make, what way to make a better splash than making a splash with somebody that's a Hall of Famer, somebody that's either going to be one, a Hall of Famer, someone that won multiple titles in multiple divisions, someone that's been around, who's known if you want to see some weakness for not staying in shape all the time, and somebody that if you catch him at a time where he's not on his game, you can do what Roy Jones did, and very few people did that. I think a lot of people listening to what you said would say, well, why not throw your hat in Bernard Lake? You, you, you throw my the, hat in? Yeah, you fit the criteria. I stopped at 52. I got at least, you got at least give me 62 to, to come back to start the engine again. <laughs> I mean, you got to think about it like... But you got enough to stop a guy like him, though. That, but the point I'm trying to say, or I did say, is that a lot of people is coming back 50 and under. Um, I haven't been retired for seven years yet. Um, if my math is right, it's about six and maybe some days, but years. I still got time to rest. I still got time to let it all sort of fade out and see who's the last man standing. So about 62, I would sit back. Now, that's not that far. So if you got remember, I'll be 58 in January. Oh, yeah, you're right, actually. Yeah, four years. Come on, I already got a count in my head. So, I, you know, I might not look like it. I try to keep the gray. I even, you know, some people want to... Do they they want to darken the gray? The gray yeah. I'm I'm lightening the gray. I'm yeah. trying to put more white more in it. Yes, <laughs> and, and and just try to like you know look like, like the uh, what do they call it? This Papa Smurf. Yeah. <laughs> but it's good talking to you all the Same time, man. Bernard. Keep uh, doing I'll your catch job. Catch up with you in a little bit. Thank you. Respect. Thank you.